Okay, ready? Hello there. My name is Dawn, and I'm a grandmother. Before I start reading the story, I would like to send you my love and good wishes. The story is called The Wizard of Oz. I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy reading it to you. Okay, here we go. Dorothy and her little dog Toto lived on a small farm in Kansas. She loved Toto very much, and they would play together all the time. One day there was a terrible storm. We must get to the cellar, Toto cried Dorothy, but it was too late. The whirling wind lifted the farmhouse into the air and carried Dorothy and Toto to the faraway land of Oz. The farmhouse landed with a jolt. Dorothy and Toto stepped out of the house and looked around. Oh, my Toto, the house fell on somebody. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. A happy group of little people rushed up to Dorothy. Welcome to Oz. We are the Munchkin, and that person you landed on was the Wicked Witch of the East. You have freed us from her evil spell forever. Thank you, thank you very much. Another witch appeared, but this was the Good Witch of the North. Dorothy, you were very brave to free, free the Munchkins. Is there any favor I can grant? Just ask me. Can you show me the way back to Kansas, said Dorothy. Only the Wizard of Oz can help you with that. But here, take these magic silver shoes that belong to the Wicked Witch of the East. They may be of use to you later on. Now follow the yellow brick road all the way to the Emerald City. There you will find the Wizard of Oz. On the road, Dorothy met a talking scarecrow. My head is full of straw, and people think I'm a fool, sighed the scarecrow. I'd give anything to have a brain. I bet the Wizard of Oz could give you one, said Dorothy. I'm on the way to see him, right now. Why don't you join Toto and me on our journey? Further down the yellow brick road, the tiny group found a tin woodman who, rusted, who was rusted and stiff. After Dorothy oiled the rusty joints, the tin woodman was able to move freely. Oh, thank you, little girl. I feel as good as new, even though I still have no heart. When the tinsmith made me, he forgot to give me one. It sounds like you need to see the Wizard of Oz, too, cried Dorothy. Come along with us. As they traveled through a forest, a hu Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. I have to stop. I thought I'd missed out something. No? Okay, I thought I'd missed out something. As they traveled through a forest, a huge lion sprang at Toto and roared. Don't you dare bite Toto, shouted Dorothy. The lion blinked. A tear then hung his head in shame. Dorothy was shocked. Why, you're nothing but a big coward. I know, stiff the lion. I love to have some courage. The Wizard of Oz is going to give Scarecrow a brain and me a heart, said the Ten Woodman. Maybe he can help you too. So the lion joined Dorothy, Toto, Scarecrow, and the Tin Woodman. Soon the yellow brick road led them to the Emerald City. The guard at the gate told Dorothy that a few people ever saw the Great Oz, but that she and her friends had been granted an audience. The tiny group nervously entered the huge throne room and approached the wizard. He listened to their request and then answered, I have heard that you destroyed the Wicked Witch of the East. If you can rid us of her sister, the Wicked Witch of the West, then I will grant you all your wishes. Now go. But the Wicked Witch was determined to destroy Dorothy and her friends. She sent a pack of hungry wolves to eat them up. This is my fight, said the Tin Woodman, and he swung his axe fiercely, and the frightened wolves turned and ran away. A screeching black cloud of birds darkened the sky. Crows, shouted the Scarecrow. This is my specialty, and he waved his arms excitedly. Boo! Go away! Shoo! You saved us, Scarecrow, sighed Dorothy. Thank you very much. The witch was furious. She sent her winged monkeys to capture the little group. Chattering monkeys swooped down, grabbed the travelers, and flew back to the witch's castle. Dorothy was brought before the Wicked Witch of the West. So you and your friends were going to destroy me, huh? Well, I've turned the tables on all of you. The tin woodman is battered and bent on a pile of sharp rocks. The scarecrow, he's completely unstuffed. 
I'm harnessed your cowardly lion to a heavy cart. As for you, my dear, you and your pesky dog will spend the rest of your life working here in my castle. You are very wicked, cried Dorothy, and with that she threw a bucket of water all over the witch. Oh no, screamed the evil woman, water will make me shrink and melt away. Oh, I'm shrinking, melting, melting. Within moments the wicked witch was nothing more than a puddle on the floor. The witch's sleighs were now free. To show their gratitude, they patched up the tin woodman, filled the scarecrow with new straw, and released the lion. Soon Dorothy and her friends were on their way back to the Emerald City. The wizard was delighted to see them. You have done what I ask, and you shall be rewarded. So the scarecrow received his brain, the tin woodman his heart, and the lion his courage. How will I get back to Kansas, asked Dorothy. The wizard smiled. You've had the power all along. Your magic slipper shoes will take you anywhere you command. Dorothy sadly turned to her friends. It'll be wonderful to return home, but I shall miss you all dearly. She kissed them all goodbye. Then with the help of her magic shoes, Dorothy and Toto flew back to their home in Kansas. And that's the end of that story. What an exciting story.